What's up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, jumping back in the fishing planet. Hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to you and yours. Guys, I'm jumping in. It's been a long week. It's been a lot going on. Uh, we may go into that, but today I have a competition that I wanted to jump into. And I hope everybody is doing well. The competition is at Emerald Lake. Uh, this is it right here. These are the stipulations. It's actually starting now. So let me go ahead and enter the lake. It's a, a team competition. So I'm going to go ahead and buy. Uh, yeah, it's just getting started. Go ahead and buy my advanced license. And then I'm going to go ahead and travel here to Emerald Lake. Um, I have two very heavy setups that I'm using. And then I'm uh I'm bringing one of my lighter setups, my 22 pound setup. Hey, what's up, Ghost? What's up, Callers? What's up, Zeno? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm jumping into a competition, just letting everybody know. And I actually entered another one, but you know we'll we'll get back to talking about that. Let me let me join this competition. Uh, it's a team competition. And the prize is either five or ten bait coins. So it's really good to get into these competitions with teams. I've been winning all kind of bait coins. I've also been spending a lot of bait coins as well. So let me uh let me get my narrow spoon on here, guys. I I, I was trying to win a competition, like a trophy narrow spoon, excuse me, but I don't have that. P4, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's up, Ghost? I understand. I understand. Look, appreciate you stopping through, man. Hope everything is good. Hey, what's up, Mark? What's going on? What's going on? Skull, what's up? What's up? Hey, salute to the elite fam. Hope everybody is doing well. Say, go on fishing. <laughs> Be back in 10 years. I hear you, Skull. Oh, that is what's good. Yeah, guys, I'm uh I'm in this walleye competition. Hopefully, I'm gonna catch some. You know, you think you come to Emerald Lake? This is a pretty, this is a lake we grind at and catch tons of walleye. But when you get in these competitions, man, you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm just hoping that I can contribute to actually getting some of these walleye up in here, man. Yeah, but I hope everybody's been doing well. Hope everybody's been doing well. Shout out to you and yours, man. Peace, blessings. Hope your families are doing well and everything, man. Um, again, it's it's been a it's been a long weekend, and um, you know, I wanted to get on. Uh, I you know I normally stream on Thursdays, but I was like, I'm gonna get in this competition, man. I was like, let me go ahead and let me go on and jump on the stream. You know, I I got to get back into it. You know, been in a little wreck because of things that's been happening in the real life. You know what I mean? So it's good to get back on here. What's up, Mark? I'm only be on for, uh, I'm going to do this competition. This 45 minutes may stay on a little bit after that. So, you know, maybe uh, maybe an hour-ish. Not going to stay on too long. Um, still got a little bit of work to do. But, yeah, I wanted to just jump on and holler at you guys, man. See how everybody was doing. All right, we got our first one. We on the boards. We on the boards. Good, good, good. Let's see if we can get some mo. Let's see if we can get some mo. Yeah, man. So how's everybody been, man? How's your fishing been? Y'all been catching anything good? Catching any biggins? Oh yeah, I need for my team to to step up. We getting beat right now. I might have to pull out my uh, my lighter setup. Now this is six p.m. It's rainy. You know, I'm wondering how much that affects where these walleye sit and where they rest. Yeah, we're not getting much activity, guys. We're not getting much activity. 
Maybe they move in the rain. I got to find where these fish are sitting. That's the thing with these competitions. They like to, to change and adjust the weather. You know, they make it very difficult. So your common spots don't work as much. Uh-oh, I'm getting a hit. I felt that, but that might not be a walleye. That could be a pickerel. Hey, Mark. Yeah, another 1,000, man. Hey, the, the subs is going up, man. And it's much appreciated, man. Like I say, everybody is a part of making this happen. So thank you guys, too, man, for being here with me. All right, let me throw it over here. Yeah, I've been entering a lot of competitions now. I'm actually, uh, I entered the tournament, guys. You know, the carp tournament is going on. I actually entered the carp tournament. Uh, so, you know, it's the qualifiers right now. It costs 20 k to enter. And let's see, the first qualifier was at Tiber. Um, I didn't do well at all. I figured out where the carp are, but in the competition, I only caught like two of them. I brought, I wasn't prepared. I was prepared. I tried to prepare, but I'm still learning how to do the ground bait. And then like I brought hooks that were too big. Yeah, it was it was it was rough. It was rough. Dom, what's going on, Dom? Hey, doing good, doing good, man. Doing a doing a little better, you know. Trying to trying to fight through that real life stuff, but uh, yeah, doing doing better, man. Hope you're doing well as well, man. How are you? How are you? What's up, Wolf? You say your grade in school isn't too well. Ah, uh, man, uh, you're not gonna be watching for a week or two. Hey, Wolf, hey, I understand, man. I understand. Keep your grades up, man. That's very important. That's very important. So I understand, you know, whenever things get back right and you uh, you in a good place with school, man, you know, we'll be here. We'll still be doing this. Um, But, yeah, man, I know you got to take care of school, man, so handle your business. Let's see. How was fam? <laughs> yeah, man, rocking the, rocking the Luigi today. Um. Yeah, everything is everything, man. I can't complain. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. They say it's a few things going on. You know, you may know if you've been in the Discord, but um, you know, we, we, we just we working through it. And you know, as I say, wanted to be here and stream, man. Getting with you guys, you know, uh, always makes the day go well, man. You know, always makes the day go well. Now, I need to be catching some of these walleye, though. Like, what is up with this? What is up with this? This is trash. They got to be sitting in a different area. Let's see. That person caught a trophy red pickerel. Yeah, it got to be in a different area. It's a... um. Oh, okay. I got a bite. Ah, come on. Let me change my... uh. Change my ride. It's a walleye competition. I'm at Emerald Lake. Oh, I got my jig. Uh, yeah, it's a walleye competition at Emerald Lake, and it's 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 rough right now. It is rough. Let's see this narrow spoon. I'm sure it's too light. I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, it didn't say it was too light. I'm going to see if this makes a difference. Brock, you, what's going on? What's going on, man? How goes it? How goes it? How you been, man? How you been? All right. Do we get a hit? All right, all right, all right. We got us a hit, finally. Goodness. Had to switch it up a bit. This rain got the walleye hiding. I had to bring a lighter setup out and go with a uh, lighter, narrow spoon. I'm going to see if real speed two works. Uh, normally, I do real speed three. But I'm going to see if this works right now. And if not, I'll switch it back. Yeah, man, doing all right, man, doing all right. I'm, I'm, I'm holding it in the road, man. I'm holding it in the road, you know. Life throw you them curveballs, you know what I mean? But, you know, we got to keep fighting through. 
Uh, let's see, you use five inch yellow worm. Uh, five inch yellow worm. I don't know if I had that on me. Let me see. I got a three inch and then I got a four inch chocolate worm, but I don't have a five inch yellow worm with me. Don't have a five inch yellow worm with me. Um, But if you know if one of those other worms will work, I'll try it out. I may experiment. Oh, man, my team looking bad. The last two teams that I was on, man, we lost. One, I um I just joined it, but I couldn't even fish in it. Um, I was at work. I was hoping I would get home in time, but I didn't. Yeah, man, this is ugly. Where are the walleye? This is ugly. But, uh, yeah, are any of you guys entering that carp competition? Let me know the uh, the, time, uh, the tournament because I entered that big-time tournament. Even though I've never done a carp tournament and I really just started fishing carp, just went to Weeping Willow this week, Um, I said, you know what, I'm going to enter it anyway. Who cares? You know, it's 20K to enter. And you do get free passes to, to Tiber. I was going to go to Tiber, free pass to go there. Uh, well, not free pass. You got to pay your travel, but you do at least get a pine pass for the license. A uh, pine pass for San Joaquin. I was planning to go to San Joaquin to do some uh, missions. Pine pass to uh, Sander, Ber Sander Bander Geese. I don't, I don't know the name. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. And it's a pine pass to Weeping Willow, actually. So for these next four or five days, I was thinking like license costs, what I would have paid to go there anyway, would have been over 20 Gs. So I just paid the 20 Gs, and now I can bounce around and practice and learn a little more about carp. So yeah, I've been practicing with uh with crafting uh bait, you know, with the bollies and the what you call that ground bait and stuff like that, trying to attract those uh carp. Those big boys. Let's see. Purple narrow spoons work. Uh, Mark, quick question. What brings a smile on the face? <laughs> what brings a smile? Hey, them likes. <laughs> nah, man. Hey, everybody being here, man. That 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 uh makes me makes me smile, man. Look, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let's see. I'll try this narrow spoon, see if it make a difference. We need something that work good in the rain. I got a glow in the dark one, man, but it's it's not doing anything. Oh, this one said it's too light. Hey, what's up, Brian? How goes it? How goes it? Hey, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? Hey, you new to the channel. Welcome. Welcome, man. Look, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Um, if you subscribe, thank you for subscribing, man. Um, but appreciate you joining us for the stream. <laughs> yeah, man. How's your day going today? Man. Let's see. You wanted to enter the tourney, but don't have the equipment. Okay. Yeah, I had just got one carp ride. And then I went ahead and invested in a second one uh, for the tournament. And I did not know how effective ground bait can be. When we streamed, when I was still at Weeping Willow, I tried to make ground bait. But I really only bought a little bit of ground bait. I could only fit so many. And um, I think I bought what was at the store at Weeping Willow. And uh, then when I got out and I started like doing some research, finding out how to make it, I found some other bait or I found some other recipes, but then I only had 10 slots. So I actually bought me another, um, what you call it? My little case. I bought me another uh, tackle box and it actually held a lot more uh, recipes for, you know, your ground baits. So now I can bring more, I can make more. So, again, I'm going to practice more with that because I want to bring some videos on that and at least do it in the stream now that I've learned a little bit more on how to do it. Yeah, man. 
But having that equipment makes a big difference in the tournaments and these competitions. It makes a huge difference. I'm wondering where these people are fishing at. Because I ain't getting nothing. I done brought out two different... There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. This will feel like it might be a decent size. At least like a three. All right. 3.4. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, my team is getting molly whopped right now. Like... We ain't doing no good. My team is getting spanked. I'm going to see if I can bring us back. I'm going to see if I can bring us back. Uh, let's see, you good? You play a lot of Fishing Planet currently. Oh, level 47, nice. You fishing at Russia, fishing whales, uh, catfishing, unique carp. That's pretty cool. Um, Have I been to Russia? Is Russia Tiber? Or is that the Sanderberg geese? Bander geese? I, again, I know I'm not saying it right. I think that's one of the ones I just went to. And yeah, man, farming carp, now at first I was like, eh, it's boring, you know, it takes too long. But now that I've I've done a little more, now that I'm understanding the usage of, you know, some of the bodies and again, using ground bait and all of that, you really can light it up and catch a ton of uniques and all that make a lot of money. Uh, farming carp. i also been going back to White Moose Lake. Um, because I have an advanced license, I can just sit there and my license never runs out. Uh, I got the unlimited advanced license, so it never runs out. There we go. There we go. So um, I've been sitting there farming, you know, making money, making some good money off those trout. Is Kanika a good place to fish? Yeah, yeah. Kanika's good. Um, it's basically like if you like any of the trout lakes, like um, if you like any of the trout lakes, like Falcon, like Rocky, like White Moose, Kanik is like a trout lake, but with salmon. It got a ton of big salmon that you can catch. They fight, it's fun. Um, I had a ball there. I made a lot of money too. And then they got some good missions that you can do. Love some good exploration missions. I think even they 30 day challenge gets you a good prize, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Kanik is a good one. And their monster is like silly easy. Like it's one of the easiest ones that you can do. You catch 10 of these like little fish that's like this big. It's like dumb easy. Yeah, I actually got to go back. I did um, I did the 30 days there. I went there the first time. We we streamed it. Uh, we got the monster. You can check out my streams if you want to see. You got to go back a week or so. But um, I was at Kanik for a few streams. And again, we caught the monster. We, we did the missions, caught a lot of different ones. A lot of my peeps here, thank y'all, because uh, I was getting a lot of help with finding good spots. So if you check that stream out, you'll see some good spots. Uh, that people shared. Let's see, cool thing. Um, you got an Amazon DLC like a month ago. That's how you made the level. Ah, oh, okay. The sharks are huge. Yeah, yep, yep. I called a 400 and something. It was right there at four. Yeah, the Amazon DLC is like the ultimate like starter, you know, uh, leveler. I was already in my, level, my 40s when I went to the Amazon, but... It still got me leveled up like crazy. I'm 53 right now, pushing 54. I just did a mission, by the way. And it was a good mission. It gave me like 30, 40,000 XP, which is getting my level, you know, closer to 54. It's taking a while to get to 54. But yeah, man. So I'm just working it. But yeah, definitely... Um, 
That is definite. Uh, the Amazon is definite. I was thinking about getting one of the other ones. The thing that makes the Amazon pack so good as well, with, it, with the uh, in comparison to like the rainforest or the tropical, the other ones that are close, is that 30 days. You get 30 days premium. You get 30 days access. All the other ones that I saw are only seven days. So you only get a week. And for that money, you get way, you know, way longer a stay, way more opportunity to grind. Uh, again, the passes, like, and the premium. You got 30 days of premium and you got a 30-day stay. Like, you can't do nothing but make money. And then you catching sharks and apodimas and all that. It's crazy. Hey, Andrew. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Thank you for the subscription. You are elite. It's much appreciated. Much appreciated. If you're here with us, welcome. Welcome. Uh, let's see. It'll take you a while to level up uh, because you need to be level 70. I know. I know. So it's kind of like you got to try to grind as much as you can, get your level up as high as possible. And then, um, and you know, hopefully you can get close to level 70 before you got to leave. Hey, Brock, check it out, Brock. I was debating like I'm not going to get 2K. I'm not going to get 2K. Or I'm going to either wait a, wait a month or two or wait till I get uh, a next-gen console. But, but you know, they so doggone expensive. What's up, RLD? Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the subscription. Yeah, you know that... Um, Because last year, I didn't even get 21. I got it uh, about halfway through when the price dropped. Then I was mad because I really enjoyed my team. It was one of the best my teams. They gave away so much free stuff, all the locker codes. You could really grind and win, make it through the seasons. I think I started in like season, it was the end of season four. I think it was the Kawhi Leonard one. And I, I made it all the way to like level 30-something. The first time trying it out, I didn't even know, even know the system yet. So anyway, anyway, to answer your question, I just download, like I'm literally looking at my TV screen and it finally did the copying. It installed and it copied over. So. I think I'm going to do a little bit of content. It's so easy to get stuck playing that. You know, I still want to try to play all my games as much as possible, man. But I made a, a Charles Macro 2K channel. So I ain't going to throw it up on this channel no more like I used to. I used to do locker codes and um, locker codes tips. One thing I'm good at on 2K is playing the auction house. Like, I'm a snipe king. I'm a snipe king. Like, I'm, I go hard with sniping. Make a ton of money, so I'm gonna just do a lot of snipe videos. I think that's gonna help me to maximize my time. Do you got it though? Hey, what's going on? No, uh, what's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How goes it? How goes it? Hey, it's all right. Look, I understand. I understand. Look, appreciate you being here now. How have you been? How have you been? How's life been? Uh, what lake am I currently at? Oh, I am currently at uh, Emerald Lake. Yeah, I'm at Emerald Lake for this competition, man. I think my team got matched. One thing this will do, you know, you on teams, but... Sometimes if people don't show up, they don't evenly distribute the players. So sometimes you play in a team with way more people if your people don't show up. And I think that's what has happened here. So we kind of getting mashed. Even though we got like a few of the guys in the top rankings, we still losing because they got more people. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you feel you. You've talked bad about 2K. It's easy to get addicted. Uh, not yet. You want it though. Okay, that's what's up. Hey, let me know if you get on it, man. I got it on the PS5. I mean the PS4. And I'm gonna do the little upgrade joint if um if I get a five in the next year or two. I don't I don't foresee getting it anytime soon with the way the prices are, but if before the next season the price drops to normal pricing. I upgrade it because I want to play next gen. I know they've done a lot with next gen, but I'm gonna mainly play my team. I ain't gonna really play my career like that, other than probably if they have a, uh, you know, one of their my team goes. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. You good? You was good, and you am good. Bet you're awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. Um, don't nobody want to hear it anyway. Wouldn't do no good. Um, you know, had a few things going on, uh, life wise, but um, again, I got to get out here and you know keep rocking. And you guys being here in the stream, man, it, it always helps keep, things keep moving, man. So thank y'all for being here with me. Let's see. Also, what's good about tournaments is to be in the leaderboards worldwide or to win the money. Oh, for me, it's to win the money. Man, if I could come in first place, you win like 500K. You win 500,000 and 5,000 bait coins. I want the bait coins more than anything. Like, bait coins are the, you know, the, the rarest commodity in this game. It takes five days to get one. And even though we got these missions, Unless they actively keep putting more out, we can only do so many, right? So competitions are the only way, consistent way that you can get bait coins. And then you got to win or place or do like I do, join the team. Competitions and then um, tournaments. But yeah, if you come in, I think first place is like 5,000 bait coins. Second place is like 3,000. Third place is like 2,000 or something like that. To be able to get that many and to put that into perspective, you know, to buy 2,000 bait coins, if you bought them, that's like 100 bucks. So if you won this tournament, you basically win $250 worth of bait coins plus 500K, which if you was buying that is probably like another 100 or so bucks. Those are some good prizes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Also, what's good about tournaments? Dry <laughs> Joe. What's up, Joe? What you talking about, man? I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> What's up, Vix? What's going on? What's going on? I'm doing this. Uh, I'm at Emerald Lake. We're doing a walleye competition. I actually started real slow, but I'm actually kind of creeping back up in the rankings. But you see my team is the blue team. We top five. Four people in the top five, but we losing badly. That's because I think we have... um. A lot of our people didn't show up, and they don't evenly distribute the people. So if your people don't show up, you just lose. What's going on, Joe? How you doing, man? What's up with you? How goes it? Let's see. How to explain to a kid to wear a seatbelt? Uh, why did child cross the road? Because he didn't wear a seat. Um, hey, you got to use tact, man. And the kid may have some other perspective that you don't know. So make sure you ask him why. Ask them why they don't want to wear it, and then you try to maybe give a counterpoint. But they might have a good reason. Like, who knows? So maybe start by asking them why I listen, and then sometimes people are easier to listen to you. And then you maybe you give your, your advice and your opinion. Uh, let's see. You addicted to Call of Duty. Can't wait for Vanguard. It's a mix of 2019 and uh, WW2. Hey, nice, nice. I have to check that out. Um, I ain't really done, and let me say, I ain't really done a lot of COD and stuff like that. Uh, my nephew, shout out to my nephew, he be on it real hard. He's he's a first person shooter, like he demi with it, like he real serious, and he play those RTSs like Smite. He demi on that too. He playing competition. Well, that's my nephew. I'm like, I trained you well. That's my that's little young me. But yeah, he games hard. Let's see, Mark. <laughs> Let's see, how do you join the team? Is there a level requirement? I'm finna show you in a sec. Um, see if I catch any more. I'll show you the team in a sec, at Vex. Say you used to go hard on duty when it was good. Yeah, man, because duty the one where everybody was on um zombies and all that real hard, right? Everybody was, was crazy with zombies, or am I thinking about the other one? That's like uh Kai. Yeah, that's the one with zombies. Again, I ain't played them in a minute. I got COD on my PlayStation, but I ain't even played it. I used to get it like every year. So my skills would be very rusty. There we go. There we go. It looks like they're closer. Like, I'm going to stop casting out so far. Unless it's following me from the point that it hits the water or something. I'm going to do like half a cast, half on the distance. 
Sleep, hey, what's going on, Sleep? How you doing? How you doing? How goes it, my man? So you just got out of work? Good, man. Hope you didn't work too hard. Hope you didn't work too hard. Hope you uh got them hours in and got up out of there. Police, police, police. What's up? What's up? Hey, long time. Once you get a fish holder, the best lake is Michigan. Nothing more than 50 a trip. Yeah, Michigan is good, man. You can't go wrong with Michigan. That's another great spot. There are some, there are multiple good spots that you can grind to get you some money. But like police said, Michigan definitely a good spot, uh, especially if you got a holder. Once you get one with two or three, by the time you get to Michigan, you should have at least a two uh, holder, maybe three, and um, at least two. And yeah, you can farm, farm those dog on pikes, make a ton of money. Let's see, you've been playing since three. I can't believe how it's getting more better with the graphics off the charts. Yeah, man. Hey, they do keep improving it uh, for the most part. Again, I haven't played in a while, but I've I've seen it. Some of my guys play it. Charlie. What's up, Charlie? You. What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? Subscribe for no reason. Well, thank you for subscribing. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Hi, you live in Michigan in real life. Hey, that's what's up. I done been to Michigan a few times. I, one of my old friends uh, was from Michigan. So I went up there a few times to visit. Uh, it was some rougher parts of Michigan. But, uh, yeah, I done been to Michigan. I know a little bit about it. I know they got that one sign with, um, I forgot what they call it. But if you going from Detroit to the city that my friend was from, they have this sign. It's like a biblical sign that scares everybody on the highway. I don't know if you know anything about that. You might not live in that part. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You finna join your team. Is level 13 enough. Oh, no, nah, it already started, so you can't join. Yeah, it's already started. You would have had to join before, but you could have. Yeah, you definitely could have, man. Um, Next time, I'm going to try to get on earlier, maybe like 30 minutes before it starts. Because I wasn't going to stream. I hadn't streamed in a couple of days due to some family uh, issues that kind of went on. I, I wasn't feeling like streaming. But, again, I'm trying to just get back going and, and get back in the swing of things. Ed, what's going on, Ed? Hey, doing well, doing well. How about yourself? How's it going? How's it going? Glad to be here. I can't complain. Yeah, but hey, I'm going to show you, though, what to look for with these uh, competitions. Yeah, sleep. There is a hot spot right here, too. Uh, one of the sleep's hot spots. It's right here, that first one. If you cast about right there and you got like a match ride or a feeder ride, it's good money. You'll get a lot of catches on your walleye. I can't use it right now because this competition is uh for only spoons. But yes, that's a very good spot if you want to check it out. Sleep has it in the Discord as well. He has it marked with his map. Ah, uh, doggone, it had another hit. Here, I'm going to show you the competition real quick. This is the competition. These are the rewards. 40K split between the team. 10 bait coins. I've been doing these like 5 or 10 bait coins. I be entering 2 or 3 of them every day. And you win some, you lose some. But yeah, you can make some good money. When you go to the, uh, to the competitions... Look for this right here. If you see format, they got these three people. That's a team one. Join those. It, you might just end up on a team just like this one where you're just going to win by default. That's kind of what's happening here. We didn't have enough people enter. So sometimes you might land on the right team. The other team people didn't show up and you're going to win 10 bait coins. Easy peasy. Uh, let's see, Charlie, you have school every day, so you can only play about two hours a day. Dang. Well, you know, got to gotta take care of your education. Got to take care of education. I do support and promote education, so you got to take care of that, man. 
And that means cutting back the game a bit. You know, that's what you got to do. Just keep them grades up. Keep them grades up. And, you know, you always be sure that you can get on and play. Do well in school. Uh, let's see. Wait, how much bait coins for competition or money? Uh, you don't have money right now, so you're going to go farm a bit. It depends on the competition. Some of them are, are cheap. Some competitions are 100, 200. Some of the better ones end up being about, uh, you might pay 1,600, 2,000. That's not a lot of money, though. 2,000 is some of these guys that are sponsored. And there's some you can win 100 bait coins on a regular, like, custom competition. Again, we losing. We're not going to win. So I'm going to show you real quick once again. Look out for some of these competitions right here, guys. I need to do a video on this. Uh, ones like these, the, the gold ones are the ones with bait coins, right? This one right here at White Moose. Check this joint out right here. Look at the rewards. 100 bait coins, 50 bait coins, 20 bait coins. Now, I'm going to join this one. It's total weight by line max low, so it's, it's weird because it got to do with your line. And you don't actually get the same poundage, but everybody's the same for everybody. But yeah, look at them rewards though. Uh, this one the same way. Certain people, man, their their competitions have good rewards. One hundred fifty. Look at that, ninety thousand, ninety eight thousand. The prize pool is one hundred twenty six. They put up almost a hundred thousand that you can win, right? The entry is only eleven hundred. Eleven hundred to win ninety thousand. That's a lick, almost a hundred thou out. And if more people enter, you can win more money. So yeah, do those custom competitions, man. Um, try to make sure your gear is real heavy though, heavier than the lake, and do them at lakes. You know, you can you can potentially win at like Emerald Lake, White Moose, Rocky Falcon. Look for the lower ones. Don't go out to the big boy ones yet, unless they only doing bass. I think that one I just showed you, they only uh. You're only fishing bass. So if you're good at fishing bass, you got a chance. I haven't won any of the single ones yet. I've only won competition. I mean, uh, team ones. Uh, let's see. The fastest way to regain money if you run low, run out at a low level. You pretty much got to either go back to Lone Star, Rocky, or Emerald. You see where I'm at at Emerald. If you can afford still to come to Emerald, I would go here, but if you below, you know, like 5K, you're going to have to go back to Lone Star. Lone Star is basically the free lake. It's where you get back on your feet. Um, Falcon and Rocky, or Rocky, is another good one. Falcon costs a little bit too, so, yeah, if you can afford to go to any of them and your setup is good, that's what I would do. Charlie, let's see, Slushy. Uh, look at Charles' video on Bass at Lone Star. Yeah. Yeah, if you hadn't seen it, yeah, check out my bass video at Lone Star Lake. It'll it'll get you going, man. You'll make a ton of money there and be able to leave and pretty much go wherever you want or at least go to Emerald. Then look at that video, and then you can make a ton of money there and go wherever you want. You can hit, like, Everglades. You can hit um, White Moose. Get your money up. Callers, what's up? So you going to St. Croix? That's what's up. Yeah, man. Grind them pikes. Grind them pikes. The pikes is good money. Noah, hey, bro, you didn't play Fishing Planet in about three weeks or so, or two weeks. Now you're going to play. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, look. Enjoy it, man. Fishing Planet, it's the, it's the best fishing game out there, man. It's the best fishing game out there. I might try some different ones because a lot of my uh, a lot of my peers that that do Fishing Planet. They also do other videos. I used to do Russian Planet, uh, Russian Planet, Russian Fishing 4, but I stopped playing it because they really got too grindy. They nerfed too many good spots. They were trying to, they got a little too money hungry and took the fun out the game. But yeah, if, if any other good competitive fishing surfaces, I do some, some video on it, some footage on it. If it's good enough, you know, I might rock with them the way I do on here, see about a partnership or something. But I don't know that Fishing Planet does any partnerships or anything or sponsorships for like content creators. They should. But I think you know how it be sometimes when companies make enough money, they figure they don't need folks. You know, we kind of doing it already. So but yeah, if anything surfaces, man, I'ma I'ma show those. 
Uh, let's see. So you don't get the emerald. All right, there we go. We got another one. We got another one. We catching them, man. They just was a little spotty. Uh, see, the only thing you have is eight forty. You gonna try and farm more? Yeah, um, till you get the emerald. Yeah, go to um, go to. Ah, I'm trying to say, it, man. My my mind is still a little all over the place again. Had some had some family stuff happen, but uh, go to Lone Star, start there. And just spin fish for bass. That way you ain't got to buy no bait or nothing. Just spin fish for bass. If you do have like a ride stand and a second ride, maybe match or feeder fish with some uh, with some small minnows or something like that. Something that don't cost too much. Or some like red worms, night crawlers. But just go for bass. And then catch whatever else you can just for extra money. You know, spend that 200 you know, since you got some money, spend that 200 to get the advanced license. That's all you got to pay for at Lone Star. Two fish, you'll make that back. One fish if you catch the right bass. And, you know, and then just save your money. Just keep grinding and save your money. You'll get up out of there. Sleep, you say you stopped playing. When I did, you got scared you thought I wasn't going to post vids uh, for a month. Ah, uh, nah, don't be sad. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, and, um... Again, it, it was we we did have a loss in the family, um, and it's it was messed up the way it happened, you know. And again, I I been dealing with it, you know. It's it's more uh, my cousin who's he's my who's my best friend. Like we like brothers, you know. We cousins, and and, and he, it was my cousin who was his older brother, who you know is like an older brother, but he was he was a little older, so you know he would already had was doing other things in life, but uh, it was just a messed up set of circumstances. So, yeah, I, I try to go in and we've been, we've been dealing with it and everything. I know he wouldn't want me to just stop and, and, and be taking no break because he was strong and he was actually saving somebody for, as a bad situation was happening. He saved somebody and kind of sacrificed himself, you know, and um, so, you know, they're going through it, you know, family going through it. my cousin really going through it. So I've been trying to really be there to support him as well. But um nah, I, I'm not gonna stop. You know, I'm gonna be here, you know, just was just trying to take some time, you know, to to deal with and 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 again, so be supportive of family and everything. But nah, I'm I'm here, man. We we going. We gonna keep going no matter what. Um, let's see. What's the most worst of fish you can get at Lone Star? Just the bass. Uh, fish the spotted bass. That's that's all you should really target. Nothing else is more valuable than the spotted bass. Okay, Mark. I see when you get back. Call and say you got a 50-pound bottom ride from the sports bottom pack. Oh, you good then. I mean, you can farm carp if you want to. That 50 pound bottom, or you can catch catfish. You can get some of those bigger catfish. You can catch sturgeon with that. Go to San Joaquin and farm sturgeon. Yo, I found preparing for this carp tournament, I found a really good carp spot at San Joaquin. It makes just as much money as the sturgeon. I mean, the sturgeon make more money per fish, but you catch more carp using this spot, especially if you got multiple rides. So, yeah. It kills. You got like multiple options. Uh, let's see when I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, was it already? Looking forward to joining the giveaway. Uh, to be like a Steam Wallet gift card or like a game key. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if I do it on uh here, it'll be like either Steam card or um I wanted to gift something in Fishing Planet, but you can't do that on the consoles. You can really only do it on the PC. So, and then that's really on the DLC. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it would be. Let's see. Carla still posting fire vids. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Carla's been going hard on the boulevard. Carla's, have you got you 100 subs yet? You got 100 subs yet? And hit that like button, guys. If you in here... If you've been enjoying, you've been watching, hit that like button for me. Go on and show that support. Feed that algorithm. Y'all know. 
Uh, you can gift stuff on Fishing Planet. No, no, you can't. You can't. The only thing you can gift is like holiday items or something. They know you. Uh, you could gift on Russian fishing, but you can't really. You would have to do Steam cards or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me make sure I clarify that. Sleep. What's up, Andre? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing good. I can't complain. I can't complain. Can't complain. Well, competition has ended. It caught 3G worth of uh, walleye. Not bad. Not bad. I actually didn't do too bad. But my team, man, my team was lacking. Yeah, see, look at this. Now, look at this. The, they won by default. Look at how many people didn't show up. We had one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We were ten people short, yet the guys on my team was like the top catchers. We had four guys in the top five, but because our team didn't show, we lost. Sometimes I'm gonna say do these team competitions because sometimes you might mess around and be on the right team, thirty-eight versus thirty-two, and you are gonna win by default, and then you get an easy ten. So let's look at the rewards once again. Why well, ain't get nothing? But the rewards was. What is about 30, 40,000 that they was going to split? 50K. I played one competition where it was only four of us. The prize was 90,000. And no, it ended up being like six total, three and three. I ended up getting 30K. This was last night. I got 30K because we won and 10 bait coins. The rewards for this one was 10 bait coins and maybe like 30, 40, 50 that they split. I can't remember what it was exactly. But yeah, join these competitions, man. I'm thinking of doing this one, but this right when my uh around time we had to put my son to bed, we feed well, we feed them having dinner and stuff. And so I don't I don't know. It's kind of pushing it close. This one's at four. That's an hour. I could do this one at Quanchkin, but it's for bass. I don't know the bass spots. I didn't I didn't learn the bass spots when I went there, so. But look at the prize. If you know where bass are at Quanchkin, you can win 20,000 and 100 bait coins, 50 bait coins, 20. Like, yo, that's good money. And only 18 people are in it so far, so you might not be competing with that many people. Uh, let's see. Let's see. No, it's getting the carp sports pack soon or feeder sports pack, and you'll be ready. Uh, my finna do the cart competition. I want to do it, but I'm I'm not gonna do it now because you know it's like two hours. So yeah, I entered. I did this first qualifier. We finna do the second qualifier. The second one is at San Joe Quinn. I might run back there just to show you guys what I was doing there. And then the third one is at October. I've never been. Oh, this the one my man was at in Russia. I've never been here. I just joined this just because I had some extra money. I could afford it. The first time I did a competition, I probably had like 30, 40K. And it was 20K to enter. I didn't know you had to pay to travel. It was like 8,000 to go to first place. Man, I was broke. I went like one place and was broke. I couldn't even go to the other places. So, yeah, make sure your money right. But, yeah, um, I might go back here, just practice for a second. And I had a mission I was trying to finish, too. I was trying to finish this salmon hunt, trying to catch this 33. That's a trophy. I, I couldn't catch it. I couldn't locate it. I've caught a few and found some spots, but I'm trying to get this trophy with two. And look at this XP. I did finish a mission, and I got like 20-something thousand XP. This was 17,000. Pay attention to the XP. That can be a real good bump. And XP for you doing these missions as well, man. These masterings is definitely good XP. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to leave here. We done with this. Tried the competition. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do the tournament right now. I'll probably do the tourney. Um, I'm going to do it tonight. I mean, if y'all want to see it, let me know. I'll stream it because it's going to be two hours. The one that was this morning, I got up at like 5 in the morning because I had to leave. You know, I be having to leave out and, and do some running before I work, uh, some stuff with the kids. So 
I got up at like five in the morning just so I could do that tournament. Caught two fish. Two fish. It's terrible. Uh, let's see. You should first should experience first, then buy the pack. Uh, when you're level. Let's see. You level thirteen, fishing carp in real life for like three years. Nice, nice. Let's see. You saved a month, a lot of money in those two weeks. You got a lot. Uh, for bigger level. Okay. Uh, let's see. You put a unique pike in Discord. Thanks, callers. Nice, nice. Yeah, missions can be hard, but again, I figured out a, a system due to exploration. The first explorations are usually pretty easy because they're like panfish. And then you work through the masterings. You just kind of got to plan them out. Um, And I might do a video on missions as well, but like I've done all of these missions. Lone Star is pretty easy. The Lesney Villa one, and it was all right. Mud Water. The Rocky one, you can knock all these out pretty easy. You can need like a barbless spoon or spinner, but you get like really good prize. Like the prizes, a lot of the prizes are really good. Definitely try. And these master rings. Like this one right here, you just need a jig, but you go to Emerald, Rocky, and the Heron. You're going to go there anyway. This pike hunt, mud, water, and the Heron, Emerald. You're going to go there anyway. The trophy trout. Rocky, Falcon, White Moose, three of my favorite lakes. And you get this trophy bullet spinner. Yo, it's that's a beast. Naharan Everglades, Quanchkin. And it took me a minute to get the Quanchkin for this one. And the trophy car. I did this one just to get this one. These are three of the lakes that are in the tournament. And again, since it was going to cost me to go there anyway, I just went ahead. This is the one I got 20,000 XP. I went here because the, uh, the advanced licenses are already paid for. So... You just got to kind of map the stuff out and just hit them while you're there. Anytime you go to a lake, just see if it has some uh, explorations you can do and just try to knock out the missions. It's good money. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to go to San Joe Quinn real quick. I'm going to show y'all why I was catching these carps because I got to practice anyway. This is where my next tournament is. And yeah, I'll probably do it later on tonight. I'm, I'm going to probably do it about 9. Oh, that way it don't be too late. I be about to pass out, fall asleep. But San Joe Quinn, and again, I was farming that white moose, making a killing. I found, oh, I found some really good spots at white moose. I got markers all over the place. I know how to work it. There is, I, I got to do a video on this. There is a certain bait I found at white moose that filters out. I don't catch no more bourbon. All I was catching was trout, 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 all day long on the feeder. On the match, it's crazy. I want to do a video on this, so I might not show it right now. I might show it in uh, in another stream. All right, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make my money back. Actually, I'm gonna just stay here. I don't have any more missions. Let me double check. Any more competitions? Lesney Villa Everglades. Uh, these are today. Do I want to do this? No, nah, that's Bass Kanik. That's tomorrow. Yeah, it's nothing else I'm going to get in except the tourney. All right, so I'm going to go ahead here and practice for a bit before we get out of here. We're going to go to San Joe Quinn. I already bought this advanced license. Uh, Prohibit by boat. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Oh, you know what? I think I left one of my carp rides. I brought the wrong ride. Dang on it. Yep, I brought this ride for that competition. I needed my cart rise. But you know what? It's all good. We're going to do this for a minute. I ain't going to leave. I can leave. I can eat the money. I get it back. But um, that's all right. That's all right. I'm going to show you all this spot real quick. My cart ride will probably catch a few more, but I ain't going to worry about it. I still have at least three that I can uh, farm with. Uh, Two bottoms and one cart. I might have bought three bottom rides. All right, check this out. So you set up right here. Oh, but I am going to have to leave before I do the competition because I need that cart ride. You can only use cart rides. I only have two. Uh, Let's see how to fish rock. Right I, I got to go back. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going I'm to get back to your comments.
Uh, let's see. Uh, you can't even log on the Xbox to play. You think the servers are down? Dang, sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully, they'll be up soon. Uh, good money fish at Rocky Lake Trout. Just focus on trout. Take you some spinners. Uh, if you got any of the regular spinners, the barbless, the nanos, bullets work. You might not be able to get the bullets yet, but regular spinners, nano spinners. Barbless if you can get one. Um, let's see. You could experience the game. Yeah. Ed, what's up? Uh, how do you join fishing? You got to add me. Add me as a friend if you're on PC. Charles Macro, put the name in like this here. And once you add me as a friend, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. And then you can come join this room. All right, let me go back. Let's see. All you have is a feeder ride because you made a bad decision on level 11 by selling your spin and tackles for this feeder. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Ace, it's a rookie mistake. It happens. It happens. Don't sweat it too much. You can make it back. Luckily, the early rides don't cost as much. They cost a lot starting out because your money is your money. You don't want to lose no money. But definitely try not to sell any rides early. Try to hold on to all of your rides until you really start filling up. I got so much tackle and so little space. Now I be considering selling stuff. But nah, just try to hold on to what you got and use it to continue farming. Yeah, just keep using it to farm and save up money and then just buy what you need because you really want to have multiple ride types. Yeah, so you want to keep your spin because you can spin while you feed or fish. Once you get a stand. Uh, but yeah, Rocky Lake trial. Let's see. Let's see. I uh, want to show us the spot, but wants to post a vid so everybody can see it. Like, look at this. This carp spot right here is live. I did not know it was this live. And you catch a lot of trophies too. Look at that. Boom. I had another carp spot that was way over there. I actually caught like a unique or a trophy that you needed for a challenge that my man shared with me. Shout out to my guy, Rock. But I discovered this spot here. I mean, they hit back to back. I ain't never seen carp hit so much. I've been at Weeping Willows. You know, they take forever. This is with no ground bait or nothing. Uh, let's see. What's up, Gulp? What's up, Steve? Hey, we doing all right today. Doing all right. Can't complain. Can't complain. Holding it in the road. I mean, look at that. These are carp going off like this. These are carp. You let me know any other places where you got carp going off like this. Back to back to back. I had like four of them on the ride at one time. Like I had to let two of them go. It was so crazy. Look, look at how they lighten up. The other one going off. I'm for real. This is the livest carp spot. And the activity so crazy that you make more money than the sturgeon. Now, I ain't had a chance to fully test that. But from how much they was going off, I was like, yo. Because, you know, it take a minute for sturgeon to bite, even though you'll make like 1200 a pop. Look at how these joints is going off. Look at how these joints is going off. <laughs> no ground bait. No ground bait. Look at how, look at the tension. No ground bait. Like I said, this is the best car spot. I, I got to do a video on this. This is the best car spot ever. Ah, I lost one. This one heavier though, I think. So I, I'm cool with that. Cause this one running. This is either a trophy or a unique. I might have to let that other one go. I don't want to. Yeah, when they pop out the water like that, that's trophy or uni. All right, let me not let me not miss them. Sometimes you got to go back and forth real fast. Look at them. Look at that big boy. Hey there. What are you? Bam, trophy, 1300 Nice, nice, nice. We get this other one. We got two or three. I didn't set that other hook, so that one got away. But I'm doing good, Steve. How you doing, man? How you been? How you been? Yeah, how you doing, Gulp? 
Uh, let's see. How do you get the mod? You have to be active. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you stick around. You be active. Uh, you can get on there and help, man. Nez. What's going on, Nez? How goes it? How goes it? How you doing? Up, oh, wrong, right. Wrong, right. Yeah, man, this spot is crazy. It goes crazy with the carp, as y'all just saw. Let's see, throw a five-eye hook and some corn, a uh, little bit of peas to the right, to like the shore, uh, the right of the tall green grass, and you're going to get a unicorn. Okay. I throw one over there, too. Let's see, Owen, Emory Lake is lit. Hey, what's up, Owen? How goes it? How goes it? Yeah, I just left Emerald Lake, just did a competition, and uh, I was on the, doing a team competition, trying to win like 10 Bacons, but half my team didn't show up, so we took an L. But I did pretty good, though. I had some decent poundage. Yes. Yeah, look, I um I did uh put a what you call that? A reaction on it. Yeah, I put a reaction on it. Yeah, that was pretty dope. The living ship. How does it feel to walk around on the inside of a living ship? Do you walk on the guts? On the internals? Uh let's see. If you fishing at night at the inland where you are and throw a five by hook, spine sack. One is like 20K. I mean, look at these cart, man. They're just jumping on the ride. Y'all getting some exclusive stuff right here. They are jumping on the ride. Good, everything chill, man. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Oh, okay, you talking about over there at the uh, at the Sturgeon spot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a marker over there. I need to do some more. Yeah, uh, no, no, I was saying, if you stick around, you know, you stick around, you support. Look at that, another trophy. Um, Then, you know, yeah, you can eventually, eventually do that, you know. But, yeah, just keep coming and supporting, man. Caitlin, how you doing? How you doing? Hello, hello. How are you? How you been? Oh, welcome back to the stream. Slushy said, you went to Rocky with spinners, and for some reason, it only lets you cast in front of you. It won't let you cast farther. Oh, okay, the spinner you got is too uh, light for your ride. You got to look at your lure. Hold on. i show you after this fish. Let's see. Yeah, you got to look at your lure weight. Sometimes that'll get you. Ah, uh, dog on it. I struck too early. Yeah, so I'm going to sh show you real quick. So, like, this is my spin ride. All right. The ride got a lure weight. One half by one and one, one and one half. One half by one and five eighths. So, when you look at your lure you putting on there, you got to make sure, like, you see I got multiples of the same type of uh, lure. This one is, like, one fourth. So it's actually too light. I would get that same message you got. Like, look, bam, terminal is too light. If I cast it, it might not go nowhere. If it's close in weight, it'll cast. It'll just cast short. If it don't cast at all, it's too light. So you got to get a heavier one. Um, This one is one half. So anything above one half and below that will work. So this one like a three-fourth. So I put that on there, boom, tackle weight is optimal. If I went over that one-fourth, uh, like... This one right here is two ounces. It's going to say too heavy, might damage the rod. So, yeah, you got to just look at that. Pay attention to that. Now, when you get bigger setups, this one one to three ounces. This one five-eighths to two ounces. So, it's always a range. Sometimes you can get a heavy one. Like, this is a 66. It go down to five-eighths up to two. This is a 55, but it go from one to three. So, it just varies on the rod. And the setup. So just pay attention to your lure. Because sometimes you can get lure of the same size. That's why I got two of these single spoons. One's a one, one half. 
one's a one ounce. So it'll fit on one ride and it'll be too light for or another one. So you got to check that when you buying in the shop. Just pay attention to that. I ain't pay attention to that when I first started out. So I was just buying whatever because I ain't know. Um, so you just got home from school, want to play some 2K? Go. I got it. I just downloaded it. It's actually on my TV. I'm going to probably do some content for the channel. I like the, I'm my team, though, so I like sniping. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. I'm trying to catch a Chinook salmon. Uh, let's see. No. More to the right, the tall grass. Uh, throw to the dock, 50 feet from the dock. Okay. I can catch carp there or just sturgeon? 50 feet from the dock. You said to the right. Uh, you can't walk around in the ship, but you can look around. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, look, I ain't know if you was in there walking on uh, on lungs and intestines like squash. You know what I mean? I ain't know how real that living shit was. That'd be pretty cool. And the ship be laughing and stuff. Uh, you said over this way, Mark. If I throw over this way, I threw this one over that way. Or this way towards the dock. I ain't sure, Mark. You mean to the right over there by the greenhouse or to the left towards that dock? Uh, let's see. You did a beginner series on Call of the Wild on uh, Hunter. Oh, that's what's up, Carlos. I got to check it out. Let's see, yo, what uh, Rocky Lake good fish? The good fish in Rocky Lake are just trout. Uh, mainly just go for trout. Let's see, you saw it, it was nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. You know I'm still a little bit Ricky on Call of the Wild, even though I've had it for a while now. I'm still low level. I ain't really got many perks. I'm gonna jump on my boat before I before I leave. I'm gonna jump on my boat and try to get this. Uh, it's a not the steelhead. It's this one fish. Oh, it's a chinook salmon that I'm trying to get. I found another spot besides the typical one that everybody goes to. Uh, you say, look like you grinding again. You already spent your money on Rocky. Now, are you able to catch anything, though? Did you try any of your other lures? Do you have more than one? They should have one in the shop. And the one in the shop should be heavy enough. Just look for one that's heavy enough. And, yeah, you should be able to uh, adjust it. Or, you know what I mean? One is probably cheap. I, I'm throwing over here further, uh, Mark. I'm trying to figure out the spot you're talking about. So I'm throwing over this way a little more. See if I get anything. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Let's see. Oh, and trout bait or spinning never fits for trout, to be honest. You can use both. If you do have some bait rides, use them. Throw them out there. Uh, it's a few different things that work for trout. Uh, I believe your, most of your worms work. I think minnows work. Somebody let me know in the chat what uh, are good bait. What's good bait for your, like, match of your feeder for trout? Uh, my man is at Rocky. Let's see, where are you and where should you go? You level 33 with 15K. You need to grind to 50K. Um, Let's see, you level 33. Part, part of it depends on your gear. It depends on what gear you have. It depends on how heavy your setup is. Like, I would go to White Moose because that's just one of my favorite lakes. You say you got 15K. It, it might cost more than that to get there, though. I think it costs 12. To, oh, got to still hit. It costs like 12 to... 12 to about 14K. You need your license and all that. Make sure you got enough money to cover everything if you go to White Moose. If you want, you can either stay at like Emerald or go to uh, Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake is pretty good. 
you can even try to Everglades and farm bass, but you know the bass don't get but so big. So the biggest joints you're gonna be getting is like seven hundred, you know, five to seven hundred, maybe eight. But again, I like white moose, but it costs a little bit to get there, and you got to make sure your setup is at least like twenty pounds. But you can make ten k a day, depending on how big your keep net is, at uh at white moose, and that's like half a day of fishing trout. As long as you got a medium spoon, that red joint. Yeah, you can make good money. But otherwise, if you want to like do it the way where you're being a little more frugal with your money, just go to like Falcon or or uh, Emerald. It won't cost you as much. Uh, like to the greenhouse, but throw your line to the tall grass. Uh, like super right at the dock. 50 feet inland that you're on. Okay, to the greenhouse, but next to the tall grass. All right, to the greenhouse, but next to the tall grass. So, like, right there in that area. After I catch this next one, I'm, I'm going for that, all right? You didn't bring any other lure than spinners and all the ones at the shop are one ape. You're right. Oh, dog. Yeah, you need a slightly lighter setup. Okay, do you got any other rides with you, Slush? You got any other rides? Okay, artificial salmon eggs for trout. Okay, yes, yes. Artificial salmon eggs are good. Yeah, if you got any other ride, do you happen to have any reels on you? Like, look in your look in your inventory. Do you got another reel in there? Because all you need to do is just change your reel. Oh, no, sorry. That might be bad information. Hold on, hold on. Let me look at that. Never mind. Scratch that. It ain't the reel. Scratch that. It is your ride. But if you had another ride, or even if you got a feeder, you can do feeder and match and just get your money back. Do you got a feeder or match ride on you? Cause I would do that. Uh, let's see. In the carp feeder pack, you get a carp ride that you unlock. Level 49. It's so good. Can't wait to get it. Uh, plus a lot of boilers and stuff. Okay. That's good, man. That'll get you in the game. Let's see. Throw to the red thing 50 feet uh, to the right. Uh, the red thing is next to the greenhouse. Okay. I'm going to pull up one of these. Ah, I got you. I got you. They're acting like they want to do something. Uh, the best fish in Lesneyville, y'all. Uh, mm. You only catch carp. Yeah, carp is all right. Uh, I think pike is at Lesneyville. Y'all let me know as well, guys, in the chat. What else is that Lesney Villa that's worth it? A lot of the fish are small. Pike, maybe grass pickerel. They got bass there, too. You always can go at the bass. Oh, you already left. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, well, you know, it happens, man. It happens. You'll make it back. You'll make it back. You'll get it back. Just get back on the grind. You get it back. All right, I'm gonna throw this one over here. All right, Mark, I'm I'm casting over this way. Ah, oh, I had something on it too. Something was biting. Something was biting. Uh, 50 feet to the red thing on the right. Next to the greenhouse. I got six and some corn on this. This can corn, but it should work pretty well. Uh, let's see, it did 90 feet. Do I need to reel it in from 90 to 50? 
or what or where I threw at work. Let me know that I get it close, Mark. Again, I'm gonna move in a second. Uh, like to fifty. Okay, we we'll see if we get a hit. And then I I want to move because I want to try something. Um, I'm trying to get this Chinook for this mission right here. This salmon hunt. Let me track that while I'm here. And then I got to save some time so that uh, I can put in a little time for this tournament. See if these carp are keep biting for the tourney. Let me look at the map. Okay, we're still in the peak. Still in the peak. Let me fish over here. I'm trying to just spin a bit while we wait on these feeders to hit. Let's see, you just went to your gramps house the other day. And your back feels amazing, feels like a kid. Hey, look, hey, glad. Congrats. Congrats. Why do I have a narrow spoon on here? Oh, wrong ride. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, glad to hear that. Glad to hear that, sleep. Uh-oh, Mark is going off. Is this the one you talking about, Mark? It's something, Mark. It might not be that uni, but it's something. I do have regular corn. Hold on. I just added sweet corn. I added a lot more. I was just buying up stuff, buying up bait. Like these techno plankton. Plankton. What y'all know about plankton? Let's see. You either saying 50 feet from this or 50 feet from me. If it's 50 feet from me, that's probably like right here. If it's 50 feet from that, I need to throw over a little more. I'm going I'm to go 50 feet from the, the green thing. Let me know if I need to do 50 feet from myself. Uh-oh, we got another hit. We got another hit. Ah, I grabbed the wrong one. Dog on it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Getting something with these sweet peas. Come on in. Come on in. All right, I'm going to throw this one 50 feet from myself. Okay. I do the sweet corn back on this one. That should be about 50. 46. Let's see, you just got a big bite. Your drag was low and some fish pulled so hard it just broke it. So fast you didn't even show, wow. It didn't even show the tension on the line, what? Oh man, you catching some big fish though, hey. But yeah, man, and the drag was low and it still got you? Yo, that stinks. That stinks. What lake are you at? Where you fishing?
Oh, at Lone Star. Oh, you probably got a buffalo. You probably got hit by a buffalo. Or a catfish. There are catfish there that we rarely catch. Nice. Got a trophy. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, after I get this uh next one, I am gonna uh switch positions. Again, I gotta throw a couple out for this salmon. And I might have to hop on the boat. It's a spot that I found out about. That's a that's a spot on a boat. Or you can take your boat out. Let's see, throw on some minnows. You have a really strong line. You caught a five kilo bowfin. Didn't even have to fight so hard. Okay. There's no telling then. If you can handle a bowfin and you at Lone Star, you should have been okay. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right, Mark. I'm going to come back and uh, I'm going to try this spot out as well when I do this tournament later. And y'all let me know if y'all want to. See the tournament. I can't promise you I'm going to do well because this is my first carp tournament. And tournaments be fluky. Tournaments be very fluky. So, again, I'm trying to get this Chinook real quick. The medium spoons work. I got to catch it with a spoon. Either a single spoon, medium spoon. Yeah, look, I've been like that too, no, like where a big fish got me. But I was just happy to have it on the line. All right, yeah, I jump on. I jump on when I do the turning. Um, let something come up. But again, I, I'm not making any promises. I'm not saying that it's going to go well. Just to let you know. Might not go too well. We might win it. Who knows? Win us 50,000, 50, 100,000, 1,000 bait coins. I think you still get some really good earnings uh, even on the preliminary rounds. Uh oh, that's something. What is it? All right. This might be a white bass. Oh, this is a regular bass. Is that a small mouth? Yeah, get out of his small mouth. Since when small mouths go out the medium spoons? I see a fish jumping over there, too. <clears throat> like, I've had really good luck at other lakes, like Kanik, for instance, with that green silver spoon. I caught a uni on that. But here, it's like it won't even bite it. All right, yeah, I stream it. I might as well. I might as well. Man, 
man, this salmon does not want to bite. You got a 54 pound sturgeon. Nice. Yeah, those sturgeon be some some biggins. They be good money. How it goes it, Zeno? How your day been? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got us a hit. This is probably a chinook. It could be a white bass, though. It could be a white bass. Let me see. Striped bass. Okay. Need that chinook. All right, all right. One more time to this other side. If we don't get anything, we going to ride. Take us through to the other side. Take us through to the other side. Nice. Pikes are good money. Those pikes are good money. Y'all must still be at St. Croix. Uh, uh, let's see, where's my spoon? I'll try the single spoon, throw a cast out, and then I'm going to move. Let's throw one out, see what we can get. Come on, Chinook. You see it. Get it. All right, I'm going to make this move. This this other spot. I don't think as many people know about this spot that I'm about to go to. It's a much quieter spot. Or maybe they do, and I just didn't know. All right, let's see, let's see. So trying to get the level 41, everything dead all of a sudden, been skipping time and everything. Um, my day been all right, been all right, been, you know, doing some work. Um, Had a few things been taken care of, but yeah, it's been all right. It's been pretty good. I'm making it. Uh, let's see. Hey, if you ever, if you're playing and it really dries up, like fish not biting in places you know they should be biting, you in like good times, like peak times or, or peak-ish times, cut the game off. Now, I don't know if, if that works on console. Uh, I think one of my guys said it worked on their console too. Just totally quit the game and then jump back in. I do that um, on PC. I totally quit, leave out. I don't have to restart my system, but just quit and jump back in. It's like it resets the fish or something. Sometimes the game, like, I don't know if it's the, the game algorithm, the way they do the fish or what. But, yeah, it's like the fish won't catch. They won't bite anymore. So, yeah, just quit the whole game. Quit out of Fishing Planet and then jump back in. 
and then see if you have better luck. That usually works for me. Uh, let's see. That's not where I'm at. Where am I at? Where am I at over here? Okay, I was using that medium spoon. It's this other colorful spoon that I need to put it back in my inventory that I caught this thing with. I have a like a colorful spoon, but it ain't the right one. I need this other one. Oh, but we got a hit though. We got a hit though. What's up, King J? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. How are you? No, you say you really hate school. Uh, but it's all right. School is more important than games. Yeah, they are. They are. Believe me, I'm a gamer. I've been gaming since a little since I was a little one. By about seven, six, seven, eight years old, man. Like I love gaming. Been a life lifetime gamer. But at the same time, school is very important. It's very important. Um, just educating yourself is very important. So always be learning. Be a life learner. I'm always teaching myself something. Every day, if it's not something with graphics, photography, video, reading books, studying, you know, videos, tutorials, like every day I'm learning how to do something. I can engineer music. I can edit videos. I can edit photographs. I can run social media platforms. Damn, I do a lot. What else? I do a lot of stuff at work. Tech support, like that's why school is important. You know, if you choose to go to college, you choose to go to a trade school or something, like as long as you're gaining skills, you always employable. You can start your own business. You'll make your own money where you don't have to work for nobody. But while you're in school, just learn everything that you can. And even if you, uh, when you aren't in school, teach yourself everything that you can. Uh, let's see. No, we're going to go fishing tomorrow in real life for some pike at your pear shaped plot. Uh, float, put some minnows, throw it in at tadpoles and hope for the best. Nice, nice. That's what's up. I've never fished for pike. Uh-oh, I can't see. I've uh, done like smaller, you know, we got smaller local fa uh, local lakes with like panfish, catfish, stuff like that. But uh, I never fished for pike. That'd be dope. Let's see, you good? Uh, do I play anything else? Um, yes. I mean, I used to play a lot. I play survival games, mostly survival and simulators. I actually got a few games I've been meaning to play. I've just been real busy, and it's just been a lot going on recently. But uh, mainly Fishing Planet. Uh, I've been playing Car Mechanic Simulator recently. I like that game, working on the cars, working on the engines, flipping cars. Um, like I said, I got a few other survival joints like Medieval Dynasty. I was playing Green Hell, if you've seen Green Hell. That game's so hard, man. I done almost tapped out. It's so difficult. Like, like that game is unforgiving. It destroys you. Uh, but I was playing this game called Subsistence. What else? Oh, there we go. Oh, could this be the one? Nah, it's just getting it out the water. Uh, a lot of survival games. I used to play a lot of Empyrean, Empyrean Galactic Survival. That was like a staple on my channel. Um, I just I hadn't played it much in a while, 15. But that was one of them dope space survival games. It's some other ones I'm interested in playing. I also make some 2K content every now and then, but I made another channel. I ain't gonna put that on this channel no more, I don't think. I used to do locker codes, um, little how-tos and joint and stuff like that. But you know that that community's so big, it's just a lot going on. But are there any games that you play or that you uh that you are interested in? Let's see, you have to go to school. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Uh, school is good. You're an engineer for the Department of Transportation. Nice, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you um, are in STEM, you know. Not, I, you know, do what you do. Do what your parents recommend, you know, your counselor and things like that. But just generally speaking, from one perspective, STEM, if you can go to a STEM base, I'm a creative. Like, I, I got a degree in a creative field um, in communications. But I'm also like a, a 
I'm an entrepreneur. If you're going to do something in communications, you got to be an entrepreneur. You got to get your hustle on because there aren't a lot of jobs in fields that are outside of STEM. They're like, they're very crowded. So you really got to know how to work it. But if you in like a more STEM-based science, technology, engineering, math, you'll make a really good living for yourself. And you'll have a lot of options. Uh, let's see. Let's say you want to go to truck transport school because your cousin's the owner of a big company. He can get you hooked up. 10K Euro jobs. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, look, that's another good feel. And if you can go into business for yourself, man, you'll always make way more money than working for someone. You know, where we at, they kind of teach you to, to work for people. And that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, if you are able to establish yourself, you can definitely make good money. Um, I got some family members that are in like truck and, and transport and uh, they make good livings as well, man. And you can be your own boss or you can work for a company. Let's see, can play some Sims. Uh, you play SnowRunner. I do have SnowRunner and I got like mud. Uh, what's your mud? It ain't called mud runner, man. Oh, spin tires. I got spin tires and all that, but I ain't. Pl I played it a little bit, but I never got really good at it. I never got efficient at it. So, yeah, I don't play it much, but I do have it. And, yeah, I think I got snow tires as well. If I don't, I think I got a key somewhere. Uh, uh, Mark, yeah, Subnautica. Mark been on me about playing Subnautica. I forgot about that. Man, Subnautica, that game... It had you freaking out, man. I used to be jumping out my skin playing that game because you're so powerless in that water. You know, everything else in the water is is they can swim. They can navigate. It's like you're, you're powerless. So you really got to work your way up and be careful, you know, especially when you're trying to get those next level resources and you got them, them uh, predators coming after you, man. That joint crazy. Let's see. Ark. Yeah, I got Ark. Uh, Marvel, Red Dead. I got Red Dead, GTA. I made a lot of content on my channel for GTA as well. Uh, Flight Sim. Well, uh, yeah, my man been telling me about getting on Flight Sim. Actually, one of my guys, Jimmy, who stops through, Jimmy Dallas, he got a, a really great channel. He played Flight Sim. He got like a video, like 3 million views for his Flight Sim. He played a lot of simulators, way more than me. Construction simulator, truck driving simulator, uh, American, Euro. I own those games, but again, I ain't made content for them. But my GTA, like when the casino dropped, I did some GTA casino footage. I went through that whole thing. Uh, did that actually with my man Jimmy. That actually got some good views. Um, I got the arcade. I haven't done the last few updates, though. Like, I just ain't jumped in with the last joints that came out with the car stuff. I want to play it. I just ain't had time. I used to play Ark real heavy, man. I had Ark on uh, Xbox, I believe. I got it on Xbox and PC. Man, I played that real heavy, but I was a solo player. And you got to play Ark with other people. But I was a solo grinder. And um, I really enjoyed Ark, though. I really enjoyed Ark. I got why I was taming, you know, some of the uh, some of the beasts and all of that. But, yeah, that's much better if you got a crew. I ain't had no crew. Let's see. Dreams to be a truck. You just love trucks. Hey, man, do it. Do it. If you're passionate about it and you know that's where your, where your heart lies and you're going to work hard at it, man, go for it. Uh, do I have Xbox? Yes. I got the one. Um, don't have the Series X yet. I got the one, though. Yeah, that's what they call, yeah, them stalkers, man. Them joints had you flipping out or freaking out. Uh, need to go start some stuff. On here uh, will help you. Yeah, if you're talking about Ark, yeah, again, I, I ain't played Ark in a minute. I jumped back in it since they've had so many updates. I jumped back in it maybe like six months ago just to see what it looked like. It's a lot of good stuff. Sleep, say you retired from GTA. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't played it again since pretty much the casino. And I had jumped on it and grinded. I solo grinded and got like every property. And was stacking paper. Um, I enjoyed GTA. You know, I played every GTA. I played the first GTA before GTA 3. 
like two and the original that was top down. Yeah, I I found them joints. I play every GTA and beat them all, except for like Liberty City Stories and some of them little side joints. By that time, I went playing it as heavy, but yeah. I don't know if Six gonna ever come out. They making so much money on fire. They gonna ride that horse forever. Let's see, American Truck is that joint. You convoy, they just added convoys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, my guy Jimmy, he he do the convoys. Um, I want to get on there with him. He do the convoys. I played like construction simulator with him one time. Um, I'm interested in doing it. I've just never done it. I actually got like bus simulator. Uh, the dev sent me a key. I've been meaning to get the get the content up. I got to get that content up because they shot that to me. I I did content on 18. I got to do 21. Um, I showed it off. I even hooked my steering wheel back up and everything. But I was having some issues with the recording. It recorded in a file type because I was doing it on a different computer that I, ain't, I don't normally record on. And so I kind of lost or wasted all of the footage. And even trying to convert it wouldn't work. So I got to do it again. And that's just the tutorial stuff. But yeah, man, I'm interested in that, man. I'm interested in that. Yeah, definitely interested in that. Uh, let's always uh, manage to make them turn off their game. That's what's up, Sleep. Yeah, I can't stand the grief in the GTA. Yes. It can be a bit much. I used to get in the solo public lobbies. I knew how to do that on the PC. If it were not for that, I probably wouldn't have kept playing as much as I did. I had San Andreas, 345. Yeah, man. San Andreas was the thing. San Andreas was one of the best ones. I love taking over all that territory. Like, that was the best. Like, they've never replicated that to that degree. Only GTA 5 with mods. Yeah, yeah. There's so much they can do with those mods, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, yeah, guys. Oh, man. All right. A lot of times, fast. I forgot. I got to get ready. I got some stuff I got to take care of. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to have to shut it down, man. I was hoping I could get this Chinook, but it ain't happening, guys. But, yeah, so later on, since y'all say I want to see, I do got to do this tournament. Um, As you see, they they ready for me. And I'm at San Joe Quan, so I'm going to stay here. Well, I'm going to leave, go get my rides. Hopefully, I made enough to get my money back. Yeah, I made enough to get my trip money back. I need to go get my other carp ride. I bought this ride by mistake. And I'm going to do the tourney. Again, I only got two carp rides. You only got to catch 10 fish. You just got to catch the 10 biggest fish. So um hopefully it's gonna work. I'm gonna mix up some um I'm gonna mix up some ground bait. I bought a ton of these ground bait supplies. And I've learned like two recipes. I learned like two recipes. So I'ma try to I didn't save it, but I'm gonna put it together to see if that helps. I know it works at Weeping Willow. I don't know if it's gonna work here at San Joe Quan. And then I also got this spot. I won this spy from doing the missions. Where's that spy at? I don't even know how to use it. I've seen it used, this trophy extra large spot. I bought PVAs just in case and a flat feeder so I can make method ground bait. I'm going to try all that stuff. But, yeah, we'll do that later on. Again, it'll be, it's going to probably be about 9. It's like 4 o'clock here, so that's about 5 hours from now. It'll be like 9, 10. Try to get it in because it's 2 hours. And, um, you know, see if I can place. See if I can place, man. We'll see. Again, even if I don't. You know, I wanted to enter, and I got free reign on all of these until this end. So for three more days, I can hit all of these lakes. San Bagasi, San Joaquin, Octuba. I can go back to Tiber and finish a couple missions. I'm going to try to do as many missions as I can for these licenses run out that you get for your money. All right? So, yeah, guys. Um... Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up, but if you're around later, look for the notification. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and you get that notification. Hit that like button for me, guys. If you're still here, if you've been rocking, hit that like button for me. Feed that algorithm. And uh, check me out later. Look for the noti. You like to say, worst case, I, it would be tomorrow because I still plan to stream tomorrow. But I might stream again, man. Um, Trying to get back, you know, in the swing of things, man. Again, had some things go on. But, um, yeah, look out for me later. Thank you for everybody for being here, man, for rocking with me. Always appreciate it. Always enjoy it. 
Um, thank you to everybody who uh, thank you everybody who's joined, who's a member. Appreciate that support. Thank you uh, to everybody who uh, supports on Patreon. Um, thank you to everybody who super chatted. Thank you to everybody who's just here and who's been supporting. And thank you to all my guys in the Discord, man, who have been uh, uplifting and supporting. Because again, I, I did have a, a family. Uh, you know, I know how to say it, man. I only like like to say it, but we did have a family tragedy that happened. And so this weekend, it affected things. I even had to cut a trip short home. I was at the beach. I was going to fish and everything. I didn't even get to fish, man. Um, It was just a few different things to do. I had to just cut it short, man. But uh, I just wanted to be here to support my family. So uh, thank you to everybody who's been, like I said, lifting, lifting me up and uh, supporting and, and everything. You know, it go make it through, you know, like I said, you got to be strong regardless, and I'm going to do that, man. I'm going to keep doing this, but I just want to thank y'all, man. I want to thank y'all. Much love to everybody. Peace, blessings. Hope that y'all's family is healthy and safe, and um, yeah, keep rocking with me, all right? So I'm going to get up out of here. Charles Macro, thank you to everybody. Salute to the Elite fam. Much love to y'all, and I'll see y'all later on tonight if you can come back and join me, all right? Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Holla at y'all later.